So guys, today we are talking on one of the most important part of the electric vehicle revolution. It's important guys that you watch this video till the very end because it's a little bit complex, but explained simplified. Okay. So we know that there's a huge EV boom. And if you want to know everything about today's stock and all the information that we talk about today and why it's interesting, check out the link in the description because there will be everything you need to know, okay? If we are looking into the EV boom, the first thing that comes in mind is obviously Tesla. Tesla with its battery production, with its visionary. And actually when you are talking about batteries, you think about lithium ion batteries, right? The thing, the holy grail in the electric automotive industry. Now here's Elon Musk that actually says it should be more called a nickel graphite battery because this is the real components of a battery. Actually in every vehicle we have about 40 to 60 kilograms of graphite. So if you imagine that this mineral is so, so hard and crucial in this EV world, then you definitely want that this material is really available, right? Because we have seen currently something that is a shortage, a shortage of chips brings many automotive companies to a halt of production. I mean, Ford said even maybe half of the cars will be not produced because they have a shortage of chips. So you can see how much pressure now is on EV companies to have a supply chain, not only on the minerals, but also on the battery production. And that's why it's so important that we talk about this company that is solving exactly this problem. Okay. Green battery minerals. This is the company that has a source with the best or arguably the best jurisdiction area in the whole world guys. Okay. And now let's dive into the article below and uh, look how potential this thing is. So you can see that in this article, you can find also all the ticker symbols and everything you need to know about the stock. Now, here is the interesting, you know, crazy amount of increasing electric vehicles over the years, okay? You see, this is a curve that I have seen very, very rarely. Actually, 70% of all Americans, for example, want to buy an electric vehicle. That's about 70% of 350 million people. You know, that's obviously, you know, a lot of people, a lot of cars to be sold. And uh, Tesla just cracked the 500,000 cars last year. So with that said, Elon Musk at Battery Day said something very, very important, which we will discuss in a second as well. But make sure to look into this. Okay, so the EV boom is absolutely insane. You will get all the information in the research of this article. But what is more important is that the graphite is on the list of the 35 minerals and metals considered to be critical to the United States. You can see here a graphic by Bloomberg where this black piece of the whole graph is actually graphite and how much it needs to be mined and what is the demand of it. And as you can see, it's maybe one of the most demanded minerals and metals that is out there. Okay. So you can see here how crucial that is. And now let's talk about some points that are really the top points to consider this company. So obviously first the huge growth of a V market, right? And then point number four, green battery minerals is actually focused on developing its graphic projects, including its flagship 100% Berg Wood Graphite Project. Okay, you can find all about this information also there. And then obviously they are working in maybe the best area with the best jurisdiction, which is important guys, okay? If you are a mineral company, you really want to have the best location and it's basically all about location, location, location. So they are sitting in Quebec. So this is obviously very, very of a huge advantage as well. Now. I believe that we are now at the point to dive into the stock chart 
And then finally, in the conclusion of this video, I would love to show you also what Elon Musk said on Battery Day, which is tremendously important for this kind of industry. All right, let's look into green battery minerals with those uh, ticker symbols here. So you can uh, look it up yourself. Uh, it, the, the, the price is in Canadian dollars. So uh, this is to be mentioned as well. Currently sitting on a market cap of about 12.638 million Canadian dollars. And uh, what is obviously, you know, interesting in those penny stocks that they can be quite volatile, okay? So here you can see what could happen to your money in either direction, to be fair here. You know, the 52 range was from three Canadian dollar cents to 72. So more than a 20 fold, right? That the stock did in a matter of just 52 weeks. So it's obviously something that you need to consider when investing and uh, make sure to make your own research, make your own decisions in investing as usual with every single stock out there. Okay. And uh, what I wanted to show you guys here in the stock chart guys is that uh, we were pretty much flat for the first uh, months of the year you know somewhere going from 11 uh, Canadian dollar cents to about you know 20 so you know a hundred percent jump then back to about those uh, 14 15 levels 13 levels then we had a huge jump to 47 and then with the overall market we uh, cooled down a little bit yeah until Friday Friday we actually you know increased uh, by 36 percent which was uh, which was incredible and uh, some of these jumps can always happen in this kind of stocks okay because there is obviously you know sometimes some kind of news for the company some kind of coverage and then obviously these jumps uh, can happen anytime and then you can see that the volume is just increasing quite dramatically and uh, um, much more than the average volume that is on the day and then you can see these huge jumps in either direction so check out the company uh, i think that there is something more to be said in the conclusion of this video so stay tuned check out the link into the description and uh, make your own research on the topic how much of graphite is really really important for this maybe one of the biggest industry or the the huge change into transportation of our age okay of the century this will be absolutely insane guys so uh, check it out and let's go and move forward to the conclusion of this video and this vlog today So I love to talk about this kind of companies that are actually not producing the products itself, but are part of the huge infrastructure. Okay. So green battery minerals is a company that I definitely look forward to research even more. Make sure to make your own research as well, guys. This is never financial advice based on this video. This is not buying or selling. You need to make your own own decision okay and i think that it's important to understand that even the number one player tesla says to all of his suppliers please produce more batteries we will need an insane amount of batteries here's the clip of elon musk at battery day but the lithium is actually two percent of the cell mass mm -hmm. so, so it's like the salt in the salad it's it's a very small um, amount of the cell mass and a fairly small amount of the cost um, but it sounds like it's big because it's called lithium ion, but it, it, it really, like our battery should be called nickel graphite because uh, it's mostly nickel and graphite. Okay, and um, it's nickel, cobalt, aluminum, but battery, other little things, and graphite with a silicon oxide layer. Battery, like which not only affects the supply of batteries, but their final cost. It's wise that Tesla is already diversifying the materials on their shopping list and reducing their reliance on any one material, which will help mitigate any potential bottlenecks if one material becomes hard to come by. This is a decent shopping list of raw materials for potential batteries. Graphite, silicon, lithium, nickel, cobalt, aluminium, manganese, iron and phosphate. So Terra is the new Giga. Uh, and a terawatt is a, a thousand times more than a gigawatt. So 
uh, we used to talk in terms of gigawatts. Uh, in the future, we'll be talking in terms of uh, terawatt hours. So this is um, what's needed in order to transition the world to sustainability. Um, yeah, and you can see it's a, we're talking about 100x growth in batteries for electric vehicles to achieve this mission. Um, and we are going to get there. It's just a matter of how fast. And our intention is to accelerate it. Yeah. You basically need on the order of you know, roughly 10 terawatt hours a year of battery production uh, to transition the, the global fleet of, of vehicles to electric. So, you know, if you're seeing Elon Musk talk about it, we know what uh, Elon Musk can do with, uh, with stocks and other things, right? So I believe that he's one of the smartest humans on earth. You have the huge industry of electric self-driving cars. And in the end, you know, you need this also in all the smart gadgets, you know, batteries are so, so important. So I believe that this is the future. If you invest into the future, you make sometimes a big moonshot, but the reward can be absolutely extraordinary. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I will be start discussions with you in the comments. I see all the comments, guys, so I'm super looking forward to that. And make sure to check them out and uh, check the link into the description as well, and I see you very soon. Mm -hmm.